Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. I first want to say thank you to all our new subscribers. Yes, we really, welcome. really appreciate you being here. To everyone that's been here with us, you know we love you. That's right. And we found out why the family dollar is closing. Tell them. Dun, dun, dun. Nobody wants to work. Yep, you can't keep <laughs> staff in. I'm blown away. All this inflation. That's happening across the country. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? On that note, I also want to say, do not be fooled by this. We have the lowest unemployment rate in the history of our existence. That's they because everyone exhausted it. Yeah. yeah, everyone exhausted <laughs> it during the first wave of the pandemic. Yeah, and it was, you know, and that's kind of it happened during it too. Yeah. You know, they would uh, certain areas, depending upon what your numbers were, you know, you could work or you couldn't work. Right. So people were constantly being laid off and then brought back and laid off and brought back, mm -hmm. and that was all very purposeful. That's because it it wears on that unemployment. And what you're able to get, how long you're able to get it, mm -hmm. and at this point, people have exhausted those absolutely those measures. So mm -hmm. uh, it's you know you got you got to pay attention to what to what isn't being said. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, we're losing a store because nobody's willing to work, and that's it's it's really not surprising. No. It is and it isn't, but you know we said it happens in our areas first for two reasons. One, there's not going to be any rioting and protesting and, you know, bad, ugly things happening in country towns. It's right. just not going to happen. So they're able to hold back the supplies from us so they can get more into the cities. And that helps to reduce the panic exactly. and the acknowledgement that will happen in the cities. You exactly. Know? If they still have what they need, then there is no acknowledgement or understanding of where we actually are. And, and <laughs> number two, because they want everybody in those cities. Yeah, they, they want to drive push us everyone out. into those cities. Mm -hmm. So um, it's twofold, you know. And the way that they do it is through our data. They know they knew begin at the beginning mm -hmm. of this thing how we we were going to react and what we were going to do and what we weren't going to do mm -hmm. and where the problem areas were going to be and the problem populace. Yeah. Um, who those people are. And I'm proud to say I'm one of them, uh, <laughs> but you know it's all it's all uh, it's all contrived. It's yeah. all contrived, and uh, it's all in the Bible. So open your Bibles. Open your Bible and be very very careful with what you're putting out on your social media. Way way I mean pretty much everyone. <laughs> It puts all these pictures of their kids and where they're going and what they're doing and what they like and just. You know, yeah. with the facial recognitions and all these things, you've got to be careful. There's a reason why Steve Jobs doesn't didn't even let his own children have iPads and iPhones. Yeah, none of, none of the founders of any of these, you know, social media sites do or equipment nope. will let their children touch it. And that's nope. very telling, you nope. know, because they know the data is being collected on yep. them. And it's twofold. They know that it's psychologically messes up mm -hmm. kids and they homeschool them which yeah. i am all for by the way we homeschooled and i am smarter than a 12th grader because <laughs> i've now been to high school three times so let me tell you this there's a reason for that they didn't want their children in it in it because they knew it's they would bad. have access to cell phones and ipads and all the disgusting crap that is all over the internet yeah. so that to me and the mind control that happens, yeah. you know, it they channel, you know, our children just like they channel us into certain areas, yeah. um, and those channeling is all about you know equality and uh, a bunch of words that don't mean what we think they exactly. mean, exactly, you know, and uh, so the equality that they are they are going to do for us is so that we're all equally poor, exactly. I want to touch on the video that we posted on our community page yesterday. It was Canadian Prepper video. Now, please watch it. Please watch it. We're not trying to scare anybody. Do not tell him we sent you. That's not what this is about. It's about we have a lot of people reaching out to us. We don't know everything, okay? We don't know, and when we do know, we try to share it with you. Um, but we have women a lot of women, grandparents especially, reaching out saying, I'm scared to death there's going to be a draft, that they're going to take my grandchild. And I tell you what, them taking away the requirement for GED or high school diploma to it's enter the military, 
very telling about where we're yeah. headed. I really think we need to be concerned in that area. Um, I know that the ones that are reaching out to us are doing so because they experienced that with Vietnam. They've seen it happen in their lifetime. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't know if it's for sure, but I just think it's awfully weird, isn't it? I know that war is coming. Yeah, war is coming for war sure. War is coming. Uh, you know, there's... We're already in it. Yeah. We're already in it. We're sending our money. We're sending our armaments. You know, we were told one we're of our... S- we're sending our military. Yeah, one of our uh, one of our subscribers told us that they did a buyback in, what, Miami? Yeah, I think it in, was Florida, yeah. In order to send those... Weapons. Arms to Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, now, what are they going to do when we need those weapons here? Because we have war on our soil. Please. It is very possible. Yeah. I, I just... Yeah. They're, they're really, really setting us up for really bad things. Yeah. So. And, you know, we are aware of what's going on. We know what's happening. Uh, we know why it's happening. We know what the end game is, mm-hmm. um, both by their admission and by what the Bible says. Um, but we try not to get stuck in it, you know, because yeah. there's nothing you can do about it Can't other than it. prepare, yeah. you know. And if you, if you, if you seek, seek him... He will comfort you through that fear. And, um, man, you know, just don't get stuck in it. Don't get stuck in it. Don't get stuck in the negativity. Don't get stuck in the fear because it's going to do you and your family zero good. Exactly. You know, you got to smile. It changes what happens emotionally. It it has a psychological effect on us. So smile often for no reason. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Put gratitude in that attitude. That's right. That's right. Because it makes a difference. It, it makes a difference. And uh, just don't get stuck in it. Yep. I mean that's. I mean that's the bottom line. No. Don't get stuck in it. Yes, it's scary. You know, we've had a lot of people reach out to us that are, you, you can hear the fear and the desperation. Yeah, just in, in their writing. In their writings, and you know, it just. Ah. Uh, yeah. You know. And we feel the same way, too. You know, we have a 27 and almost 22-year-old son. And, you know, I I don't know. I don't know. I hope and pray that our boys aren't dragged off to fight some stupid war. You know, I do. Yeah. But, uh, man, circle of control. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. And uh, But From pray. Fingertip to fingertip yep. and nose to toes. Mm-hmm. It's all we have control over. Exactly. And your attitude makes a difference. You yeah. know, you change your attitude, it changes your beliefs, it changes your behaviors. And um, you can walk through anything if you stay in your faith. You sure can. All right. Let's talk about misadventures now. Show them what Grandpa built us. So yesterday evening, Grandpa's at the at the fence saying, I built you something, Okay, wait, Ashley. you gotta see what it says. Go away. Go away. <laughs> okay, now this thing is awesome. We're not going to plug it in and do it, though. Yeah, because it's super loud. I see? mean, it's like a fire alarm. It's got a switch to yep. it. Okay. Why did he build this? Because yesterday I was home alone. Well, Grandpa was at his house, which is just in front of ours. But um, I heard a little scratchy noise at the at the door right there, okay? Door was just like that. Screen open, but door... Right, screen closed but door open. Right. And I come around the corner and there is a bear right there. I right wasn't there. Home. Amy wasn't home. And Ryan then realized there's a bear right there because she had been sleeping. All the animals were oh, sleeping. Gosh. Fan was on. She was making, you know, doing the dishes normal and stuff like noises. That. So I think that kind of just lulled them into their sleep. Uh but yeah, holy cow. Yeah, bear right there two feet from me. At the point where Ryan realized the bear was there, she came running. So I'm reaching like this to get her, trying to get her not to bark before I can get this. Because look, that bear was looking at me, okay? Looking at me. In my it was face. a juvenile. It was a juvenile bear, but he was very curious. <laughs> <laughs> so... I did what we're always taught to do, right? Bear aware. You scream your guts off. I'm still. The reason I sound froggy is from that. I screamed my lungs out and was holding the dog back because she was going to go through that door. And she's a juvenile herself. Yeah. She's not ready for that. 
I screamed my guts out. The bear runs out behind our garden, up the tree. I was then able to grab the regular door and shut the door and keep the dog inside. I called Grandpa. He came out with the shotgun just not to shoot the bear, just to do the warning shot so we could get him back to the back of the property. Well, his shotgun misfired. <laughs> So, uh, clean your guns. And then, right then, here comes Amy. So Amy gets out of the car. She was able to s send some warning shots with the Glock. That still didn't do it. He actually came out of our yard, though, and ran back to Grandpa's... Uh, to the overhang at Grandpa's shop. Yes. I could hear him when I pulled up. I could hear him back there rummaging through mm -hmm. things. Um, so then Grandpa came back out and shot off a couple more and uh, got the thirty eight special. The thirty eight did it. And uh, about that time, by then, that was about six shots, I think. Yeah. Uh, that thirty-eight was the last one. That was about six shots to get the bear off of the property, and he took off down the mountain. Um, and there come, and then our buddy Bill shows up. He's ready for action. You can hear the gunshots, okay? When you hear gunshots, people know if it's target practice. Yeah. They're either thinking a poacher or somebody's in danger if it doesn't sound like it's a target practice yeah. situation. So it's super awesome that we have that kind of support here on the mountain. People know the sounds. They, they know where to go, too. Yeah. It's like, it's amazing how fast people show up for you but let me tell you having a bear two feet from you holding a dog back um i'm so proud of you <laughs> so proud of you i was taught and i listened to what i was taught and this is another reason why we never walk out of the house without looking up in the trees your mom taught me that yeah always she look still up texts in the that yeah better look up in them look trees. in the trees look in the trees so so that's been our our couple days here yeah there's bears in them hills. There sure are. <laughs> and they seem to like us very well. All right, everybody. We hope you all are doing well. We hope you continue to stack your pantries, get prepared, stay positive. Stay um, informed. Yes. Stay informed. Don't, Don't get, inundate. Yeah. Just stay informed. Stay informed. Um, and it matters, you know, where you're getting your information from. It really does. It does. So pay attention, stay informed, and keep smiling. That's right. Because y'all loves you. Yes, he does. We're going to be talking to you all really soon. God bless you all. Peace.